This is lesson 11a and we're going to talk about the meaning of percent. The word percent literally means per 100. It's represented by this symbol, a zero with a slash and a zero. It's the comparison of a number to 100 with 100 as the whole. It represents the whole amount. With fractions, the whole can be divided into any number of equal parts. If we have one student out of 25 students, well, it's 1 25th. With decimals, the amount of parts must be a power of 10 as 10, 100, 1,000. So one student out of 25 would have to be 4 out of 100. See, it's got to be out of 10, 100, or 1,000. So you can't say 1 out of 25, you'd have to say 4 out of 100. That would be 4%. A power of 10 is a 10 with an exponent. So 10 to the first power is just 10. It means we have 110. And 10 to the second power, that's this little 2 exponent, means 10 times 10. It doesn't mean 10 times 2. That would be 20. It means how many times you multiply 10 to itself. 10 times 10. If you have a little 3 exponent, then that's 10 times 10 times 10. That would be 1,000, okay? So those are powers of 10. Anytime you see powers of 10, it means 10 with a little exponent, a power, okay? 10 to the first power, 10 to the second power, 10 to the third power. So for percents, the whole is always divided into 100 equal parts. So that's why one student out of 25 would be 4 out of 100, see? And that would be 4%. The percentage sign means out of 100. So anytime you see this, you know it means out of 100. So here I've got 100 squares. There's 10 squares going across and 10 squares going down. I've got 25 of them colored in orange here, and I've got 25 of the 100 colored in orange here. Either way, it's 25 out of 100. There are 100 squares. 25 squares are orange, so one-fourth of them are orange, right? Like four quarters and a dollar? or 0.25 as a decimal are orange, 25 out of 100, 25 hundredths. We can also say 25% of all the squares are orange. It's 25 one hundredths are orange because it means part of 100, that means 25% are orange, okay? Now look at this one, we have our 100 squares, but only one of the 100 are orange. That means 1 one hundredths is orange or 0 0.01 because that's the tenths and that's the hundredths, right? Or 1% are orange, 1 out of 100, okay? Now look at this one. Only half of this one is orange. This one we had the full square was orange. Now only half of it's orange. That means half of a square out of 100 squares is orange. That means they're splitting each of these 100 squares into two parts. That means there's 200. We can multiply the 200 times 5 and the 1 times a 5, they get multiplied by the same thing, to make it 5 one thousandths. So it's 0 0.005 or 5 one thousandths. Tenths place, hundredths place, thousandths place. That means a half of a percent is orange or 0.5%. Now we have a decimal point and a percentage sign. See, because we went from 1% to half of a percent. Only half the square is filled in compared to one whole square, see? So if one whole square is 1%, then half of the square is a half of 1%, see? And we would write it with a decimal point and the percentage sign because it's 0 .005. Now, we're going to get into converting these in the next video, and I'll show you why this works, okay? So percents can also represent amounts larger than one whole. So if 100% is 1, we could say 1 and a half is 150%. That would be the 100% for the 1 and 50% for the half, we'd have 150%. If we have 2 whole, we could say it's 200%. It's a 100% plus a 100%. If we have 3 whole, we can say it's 100% plus 100% plus 100%. See? 300%. So the other thing I wanted to show you is where we're at compared to the grade school, middle school, and high school chart, okay? So right now, we're where this gold uh, diamond is. We're at lesson 11. See that? We're right at lesson 11 where it's pointing. 
And if you look, here's the different grade levels. We have grade two, three, four, and five. So we're right here. We're still gonna do some early grade level stuff. This is measurements. But once we get to lesson 18 right here, see? That is the point of no retreat, the point of no return. You must understand all these previous lessons before we go above this and go to lesson 18 and on, because this is all middle school, algebra, geometry, and algebra two, all right? So now is the time to really understand what we're doing here Okay, before we get to that lesson 18, we're at lesson 11, so we need to really, really make sure we know what's going on before we keep moving forward. Okay, all right, so our next video is going to be changing percents to decimals. It's going to be lesson 11b, and if you need more help, I've got these grade 6 videos that you can watch. I've also got these Algebra 1 videos you can watch on percentages. We're getting there, aren't we? We're not using these lower grades anymore. It's like it's starting to push more towards the higher grades. See that? Okay. So I'll see you next video. And we'll continue talking about percentages and how to make decimals. All right. Have a great day and I'll see you there. Bye.